Okay, so we have magnetic attraction and hookup. Okay, then you have legal matters. So you have two people here that could have been hooking up with each other. They could have been flirting. This could be two people that were dating. Or this could be like a casual hookup. One night stand energy is here. So this could be two people that were hooking up from time to time. Legal matters is here. There's some type of legal situation that could have took place. Or these two people came together to create some type of legal matters for you. I just seen healing. So this could be at a time that you were healing. Yeah. Yeah. There were some type of lies that were told with mass being here. Now, this person was trying to cover up the fact that they hooked up with someone. Um, this could be someone that you know or two people that you know. If these are two people that you don't know, one of these people could be someone that you know of. Or this could be someone that you were in a connection with. This person was hooking up with a third party. And there's a legal situation here. This was supposed to cover up the fact of you finding out that they hooked up. Or other people finding out that they hooked up. Somebody was surprised that someone found this out. Unexpected is here. So if this was supposed to be hidden from you and you could have found out using your intuition, this could have been actual tarot cards as well. You could be someone that's intuitive, in tune. You could read tarot or you don't have to be a tarot card reader. Your intuition told you something about two people. And these two people came together to try to cover it up. They weren't expecting for you to find this out. And this legal matter was supposed to throw you off, throw other people off. They wanted to throw you off because they didn't want you to say anything to anyone if they found out you knew. But somebody found this out using their um, intuition, whether you're a psychic. Um, you were shown this intuitively about some type of hookup. And this was unexpected. So this legal situation was supposed to cover up whatever it is that you found out. Or if this is a situation where you did not find out, somebody created a legal matter so you would not find out about a casual hookup that they were having with someone else. And they felt like if they could create this legal matter before you find out, you would reconcile with them. This would hold you up or keep you waiting. This could be a karmic partner that was having an affair with someone else. And you could have walked away from that person. There could have been a breakup. There was some type of... um Something happened unexpected. And this could be you walking away. To get you to come back, they feel like they could cover up all of their secrets... They can conceal whatever it is that they had been doing while being attached to you. And they could get a second chance from you um, as well. But it's like these two people came together to create this legal matter. Whoever the person is that you don't know that they hooked up with. Or it could be someone you do know. Because they didn't want this out as well. They were gaining something too. Hidden motive is here. Both people had a hidden motive about why they came together. It wasn't just the hookup, them trying to hide it. These are people that wanted to be back together with you. Um, one person wanted to be back together with you and the other person, their hidden motive is not out here yet. You have party.
And then you have liquid courage. So whoever the person is that helped the person that you walked away from, they could have still been in a connection with whoever they were attached to. This is someone who was in a relationship. And if this wasn't you, someone wanted a second chance from the other person teamed up with the person you walked away from because they wanted a second chance from someone and they didn't want that person to find out that they slept with your ex somebody that you were no longer attached to so you have to take it where it resonates but there was two it, this could be for both it's like both of these people could have been trying to win something it was the same thing they both wanted to get a second chance, be back together with you and someone else. Yeah, you have unbothered. So whatever they did, hoping, and they were definitely celebrating, partying after they did this, whatever they were hoping for, this didn't make you budge. It didn't bother you or affect you the way that they wanted it to. If this was supposed to make you desperate and go back into a connection that you walked away from that was not good for you, it didn't. And then you have broke. And then we have girl fight. Okay, so this was a feminine energy definitely upset. This person had paid a lot of people. This could be to help them create some type of legal matter for you. They invested money in whatever they were doing with these legal matters. And they feel like this didn't bother you. So this was like a waste of money. But they didn't know they were going to be wasting their money. This was competition. Somebody was in competition with you. But secretly at war with you. Now this person is someone they definitely like to go out. This person likes to party. And they were celebrating. This is out here twice. So this could be they were celebrating with their friends. Or their uh, you know people in their circle. Whoever the person is that you were no longer attached to, they were celebrating with people in their circle. Both of these people were celebrating. We have cyberbully and no facts. So these two people could have came together to um, not only hide whatever it is they were doing behind the scenes, but I'm getting whoever they paid. These are people that were supposed to like bully you. This could be online, but you would never know where this was coming from. No proof, no facts. If you would have said something about someone trying to bully you online or approaching you online or people trying to attack you online, nobody would believe you. Or a certain person wouldn't believe you. Yeah, somebody somebody paid out a lot of money to try to um, bully you. But it was a secret. Because you have car issues. Giving money is here. Somebody car could have gotten repo, stolen, like somebody car could have gotten taken. And it came from whoever this person is that was trying to like bully you. They were doing a lot. This was like a job to them. And it's like they were not upset because you walked away from a certain person that they were hooking up with while you were attached to them. It has something to do with someone being into you. 
and they were trying to like lock that person off from you. This is someone who was secretly at war with you, secretly obsessed with you, on top of wanting to be you. And it's because they wanted someone back that's interested in you. This is why they were so fixated on um, trying to like make you look a certain way to keep this person away from you. There's a lot of positive energy between you and someone else. And you have two people that were trying to make sure they could keep you and this person apart. And if this is a situation where you walked away from someone and they were hooking up with someone that's interested in, um, they were hooking up with someone that was attached to someone that's interested in you. This is why these two people teamed up. Neither one of these people wanted you to know or the person that's interested in you to find out about them hooking up behind the scenes. These could be people that you often go back and forth with you and whoever the person is that's into you. These could be karmic partners. This could be your person. And if there was a pattern, there's all you you always felt like there was unfinished business. So there was a pattern where you would go back and forth with that person. But that pattern stopped. You moved on, but they didn't know that you were completely done. Their goal was to reconcile. This is out here twice. So both of the hidden motives from whoever the person is that you're no longer attached to and this energy that was at war with you were to reconcile with you and your person. Now, whatever they did, Whoever they paid, these are people that did not know the full reason why they were being paid to do certain things. They didn't know about the hidden motive. They didn't know that these two people hooked up behind the scenes. So they lied to those people. Now these people are stuck in guilt. They're ashamed. They feel bad. Because the truth came out. It's like they're finding out that they were played. Mind games is here. They were manipulated. Yeah, they've also found out about your person. They know that there's a partnership that is supposed to happen between you and your person. There's a soul contract. And this is why this person was at war with you. They could have knew this before they hooked up with the person you were attached to. And if they knew that your person was into you while they were attached to your person, this was their way of paying your person back and paying you back. Like one up in you and one up in your person. By sleeping with the person that you were attached to and then also being attached to whoever your person is. Yeah, because it's like this person had something against you. And it was this the proof that you're your person's person. And if you were attached to this karmic soulmate, you didn't know about this soul contract that you have with your person. At the time that they were hooking up with this ex... This was the end of a cycle that you were in. Neither person knew. Somebody just thought that they were one up in you. They were secretly in competition with you. Doing a lot behind the scenes unbeknownst to you, unbeknownst to your person. But when you walked away from the person that they were sneaking around with. They were trying their hardest fighting with that person to get you to reconcile with that person. So... Your person would always feel like they have to reconcile with them. And these people would keep 
doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes, hooking up. These were definitely third parties. This is why they came together so strong. This is why somebody paid a lot of money because they felt like they just knew they were going to get what they wanted. They could have thought that they were the only one who knew about this soul contract. And if they did at that time, you woke up to the truth shortly after. The truth to you was confirmation that you made the right decision to walk away from a pattern, a cycle that was not serving you. And this could be not only this, this ex, but multiple people that were not serving you. It was time for you to move on. It was time for um, a change. So this legal matter, these lies that were told, it only made it it only made it easier for you to keep doing whatever that it whatever it is that you were doing i'm here and standing firm on your decision to not look back this is why you were not bothered you didn't budge it didn't have you desperate it didn't have you in the energy of you know not using your intuition going with your gut feeling It didn't have you doing things without thinking. You could have been relaxing as well. Recharging. Definitely recovering from whatever it is that you went through in that cycle. Yeah, you didn't budge after somebody emptied out their wallet. To go to war with you. Okay, so you have, I'm always checking up on you. This is definitely your person, the person that's into you. And if they were watching you closely and there was a lot of things going on at a time that you were just focusing on yourself, you could have been recovering, um, as I say, relaxing, recharging your energy after a cycle was over. If a lot of things start happening... It made them more focused on you. It made them want to see what you were going through or what was up with you all the time. So it made them feel like it was their duty to check up on you. Um, even if you weren't in communication with your person. A lot of people are being watched by the police and don't know it. So whoever this person is, that this person that was at war with you and they paid these people to do something illegal, report something illegal about you to the authorities, this person called the police on their cell phone. They didn't know. They didn't know that this would turn out this way. And this could be why a bunch of people are in regret. They allowed someone to play tricks on their mind. And if your person found out at this time that you were their person, this card says, I know you are my twin flame. This is what made them want to focus on you even more. It made them more into you. They can't get you off of their mind. They couldn't get you off of their mind then and this is how this they're in the same energy. I love you and only you. No one else matters. Okay, so this karmic partner, they paid people to spread lies about you being a drug addict. So if a lot of people were calling in, making fraudulent reports, 
about you being a drug addict or this could have been uh, you some illegal activity about selling drugs or something like that. This is what got them caught up in a lot of other people as well. You have, I am celibate. I haven't had sex in a while. So this could be you. Could be your person. If your person stopped having any interest in this person at this time that you walked away from, whoever you were attached to. And these are things that you weren't focused on. So you didn't know any of this was going on. You were too focused on yourself. This person was upset because your person pulled all the way back. And they felt like it was because of you on top of everything they knew about the soul contract. Now, whoever these people are that are stuck in guilt, they're ashamed because they got played. They're trying to cover up what they did to you behind the scenes. They don't want people to know that they lied on you. And this was supposed to happen this way. Whoever these people are that got tricked, whoever this person is that was at war with you, whoever this ex is, all of this was supposed to come out. All of these secrets were supposed to be revealed. From this hookup to whoever these people are that were paid. Because these are people, they didn't care about what this person was telling them. This is why they weren't able to discern that there, there was a mask here. These were lies that were being told about you. They accepted the money. These are people that did not care. And if they accepted the money, this person's karma is in their finances. These people, karma... Is in their finances as well. They were willing to do anything for money. And they didn't care if it involved lies being told on another person. If this backfired and they're going through some type of legal situation with these people are being watched and don't even know it. Now they feel bad. Because it backfired. But when it happened... As I said, these are people that were celebrating with this person. It was people in this person circle celebrating with them and people in the person that you walked away from circle celebrating with them. It could have been people on both ends. A lot of people ganging up against you, calling the authorities, making false reports against you. And they were celebrating because they felt like you were going to reconcile with them, whoever walked you walked away from, and whoever the person is that your person walked away from, this person that was at war with you, they both felt like, I'm going to get what I want, and you're going to get what you want. It didn't happen that way. Now everybody is ashamed and embarrassed. They're stuck in guilt. They didn't know they were celebrating a reconciliation, a reunion with you and your person. You finding out who your person is, them finding out who you are, was what they were celebrating. But this energy that was at war with you, they thought they were the only one who knew and they would be able to hide it. Now, something that you told your person, they feel like you were right the entire time and they want to apologize. There was something that you could have said about, um, wow, this could be about their mom. My mom is jealous of this connection. This may be for someone. It may not be for everybody, but your person felt like you were right about a mother figure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm single and I'm not attached to anyone. So there could have been a mother figure that was jealous of this connection. They could have been helping this uh, person that was at war with you. Take it where it resonates. They don't want you to worry about the past. They've moved forward. So whatever you did warn your person about or whatever you said, whether it was about this karmic partner or mother figure could be both. 
or this could be just something that you said to them in general to warn them you were right and they want to apologize Because there could be something that they did. They could have ghosted you. Could They could have distanced themselves from you. They could have cut off all communication because they were confused after you said something. But whatever you said, you were right about. Whatever happened between you and your person, they want to apologize. Whoever this person is that was at war with you, this karmic partner that was attached to your person, they feel defeated. They're weighed down. They're stressed out. Whatever it is that is, whatever it is that they have to face right now, they never expected to face it. This is someone who thought that they would run from everything that they're having to face now. And they're the reason that they're facing whatever they're facing because you were unbothered. It's like you weren't focused on anyone at this time. You were focused on yourself. This person panicked. They got desperate. And they were trying to cock block you from your person. They were trying to cover up whatever they were doing behind the scenes with the person that you were no longer attached to. To get your person back. This is someone who did not know that their mask fell off a long time ago you didn't have to do anything but focus on yourself this energy exposed their self it's like they called the police on their self they involved a lot of other people in their karma as well it's like somebody went broke trying to go to war with you secretly Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. This is someone who did not know something was already over. You have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups. This could be a whole group of people. A family dynamic. They feel betrayed. Or this is just people in that person's circle. People that were honestly like helping this person. They didn't think twice when this person told them um, whatever they wanted to hear to get them to go against you. Now that these people are really finding out the truth behind why they did what they did, they feel betrayed. They feel backstabbed. They also feel set up. Yeah, by this Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person that was jealous of you, secretly in competition with you. This is someone who carries a lot of low self-esteem. They don't have self-confidence. So when your person chose to separate, walk away from them, their confidence was low. And your person could have walked away from them because their confidence was low. They were ending a cycle out that needed to end out so they could work on their self and focus on changing the energy that they were in. This person was not ready for change. So they riled up a lot of people to try to go against you to force your person to come back towards you, force you to go back backwards. And it just didn't work. This is someone who was also insecure um, after a while, these people found out this person was copying you. They were in competition with you, stealing your ideas. And this person is somebody that's cold hearted. The queen of wands in the reverse, somebody that don't have a heart. This person don't have any type of compassion. They're just cold. They feel like whatever this person did to you was cold. Yeah, five of cups. They're in regret. You have the emperor. 
this emperor, if they're finding out what this queen of wands in the reverse did, they're in regret. Because while your person was watching you, they could have felt like whoever the person is that you walked away from was doing all of this, but they had help. They would least expect it was someone that they walked away from as well. They would least expect that these two people had already been hooking up behind the scenes. And they came together because they didn't want that to come out. That was the reason why the this karmic partner that your person is no longer attached to, that's the approach they took to your ex. Hey, we need to come together, make sure this don't get out. You're going to get what you want. I'm going to get what I want. Your ex didn't know their hidden motive. They didn't know this person knew about the soul contract that you and your person shared. They didn't know this energy was already secretly in competition with you. They felt like they were one up in you while they were sleeping with that person. It's like they knew a lot of hidden knowledge about you and your person's journey and they didn't want that person to know. They didn't want them to know their hidden motive because they felt like that person was not going to help them to go against you. So they had to make them believe that they were going to gain something too and that they were doing this for the same reason, the same motive. And if the person that you walked away from, this person is someone who is a liar, this person is someone who have betrayed you, backstabbed you, this is why this energy was able to issue them out karma this way. And they're in regret because they didn't see through what this person was doing. They were trying to cover up something they didn't want you to know. So they fell right into this person's trap. Yeah. Deception. The magician in the reverse. Trickery. Manipulation. Yeah, this is why they were able to be manipulated. Because this person is a manipulator. You also could have found out something about some type of trickery. This could have been magic with the magician in the reverse. Ace of Swords and Judgment is here. You caught judgment on some type of magic. So this could be what your person feel like you were right about the entire time. This Queen of Wands in the reverse, this is definitely someone who is off into like dark magic spells. This person was someone who was placing some type of magic over your person. If you spoke the truth about this, they found out you were speaking the truth. Um, I'm also getting, they could have did this to the person that you were attached to. Just to one up you. They wanted that person to be lusting after them that you were attached to. They wanted your person to be lusting after them. And they felt like they can keep your person and whoever your karmic partner is binded to them through lust. Control. Addictions. Bad habits. And a toxic cycle. The two people that you have a soul contract with one was a karmic soul contract and the contract that you have with your person they would have bound to them they would be able to always manipulate those two people your karmic partner and your person and it just did not end well this is someone who did not know what they were playing with if they were planning with bind, playing with binding magic blood um rituals and different things like that this is why it didn't end well. These type of things are set up to fail, set up to fall. And this is like cursing and hexing someone. Placing a lot of things over a person that they're not expecting to deal with when you do things like this. And people that do things like this, they're not aware of that. They don't care. They feel like it's getting them what they want. It's feel like it's easy. They feel like it's easy for them to manipulate a person and um, make a person give them what they want. But they don't know this is what comes with it. Harsh, painful endings. Yeah, you call judgment on this, especially once you got woke. 
You could have caught judgment on a lot of things. A lot of people. Especially if these are people that were in this type of energy. Manipulation, trickery, placing magic over people. Trying to control people. Bind people and different things like that. You caught judgment on this. You spoke the truth. And this is someone who did not want to be accountable for their actions. But after you spoke the truth, they didn't know they still had to be accountable for their actions. And there was no way around it. Yeah. You have the page of sword. This person, if they knew that you spoke the truth to your person, um, they wanted your purse. They felt like whatever they were doing secretly to you behind the scenes, it was manipulating your person to believe that whatever you said was not true. They somehow found out what you warned your person about. And instead of going to your person like, hey, this person is a liar. This person is not speaking the truth. They got behind the scenes, started spreading gossip, rumors, lies about you that were not true. And this was supposed to manipulate your person, manipulate a lot of people so they would never see who they truly are. This is someone who does this for attention. They don't just do this to um, bind people through lust. They have to be viewed a certain way. They have to constantly be admired and praised because they have low self-esteem. They don't feel good about their self. This person could have did this to different family members, different friends, and all of these people were helping this person without getting much information to discern if it was true or not. They were just willing and ready to help that person go against you, not knowing they had been manipulated. They had been betrayed by this person. Yeah, breaking free. Eight of swords popped out in the reverse. And then you have chaos. Five of wands. These are people that are realizing they were fighting, helping this person create conflict, chaos in your life because you've helped your person break free. You've broken free from a toxic karmic cycle. That you had no knowledge of, your person had no knowledge of until you started using your intuition. That's when things were revealed to you. That's when illusions were broken. Yeah. And things are being balanced out or started being balanced out in your life. And in your person's life. you're on the good side of karma because you're the type of person that mind your business you don't be around people um you're not someone that's out trying to get revenge on anyone especially if someone has betrayed you caused harm to you you speak the truth to people that's how you're able to be your true authentic self whether people can't stand it or not that's their problem and not yours You're manifesting what you're destined to have. And that's balance and fairness in your life. You're someone that's good to people. Six of Pentacles. You give to people. You have compassion. You're generous to people. You're not out trying to harm people, manipulate people, confuse people. This is why things were balanced out for you. This is why a lot of people are under judgment. And having to take responsibility for their actions. Mm. 
We have keys on a ring. And then you have past and suffering. So these two people that hooked up, because this is one night stand, keys on a ring. This is this hookup energy. These people are suffering. All because they were trying to hide a one night stand. Well, one person was trying to hide a one night stand. Another person was trying to hide that end more. They were trying to hide the betrayal to try to keep you and your person um, tore apart. You have letting go. It still did not stop you and your person from ending the situation out and going through the transformation that you needed to go through, they needed to go through, and standing in your power. It only speeded up the process. Yeah, somebody have definitely made their self look bad. People are looking back on the past and um, it's like they're just evaluating a lot of things that this person have said to them or this could be about your person. If they were going through things with your person, these are people that believe this energy. They would go and tell a lot of people that they were attached to a lot of lies, things that were not true. And these people believed it. Vice versa. If somebody that you were attached to went back and told a lot of people negative things about you that were not true, they're realizing these were lies. Yeah, truth is here. They're finding out the truth. They know exactly why you're so guarded and why you made the decision to move on from that person. They know why your person is guarded and why they've made the decision to move on from whoever they were attached to. Whoever this person is that was at war with you. Yeah, these people perspective have changed and they feel betrayed. You are so beautiful to me. So these are messages from your person. They want you to know how beautiful you are to them. I want to take you out on a date. So this could be your person wanting to communicate with you. They could ask you out on a date. Yeah, they try to bury their feelings for you. And they were communicating with you telepathically. So even though you and your person have not been in communication, they're always sending messages to you through music um through the dream state if you're daydreaming or thinking about that person they're sending those messages to you they want to travel with you and they should have listened to you so yeah there's definitely something that they feel like they should have listened to. They shouldn't have swept under the rug. This could be what they feel like you were right about. And this was this magic that this person was doing behind the scenes. I never meant to hurt you. So they feel like whatever they did, um, this could be not listening to you or them pulling their energy back because of something that you said. This hurt you and they never meant to hurt you. That's a lot. 
they feel like their biggest mistake was lying to you about how they really feel so this is what could have hurt you or them burying how they felt you could have knew how your person felt about you but they tried to hide it and it was because of um this could be other people i'm not getting it was this person that was at war with you they weren't attached to anyone this was at a time that they were single so this could have been their ego as well if it wasn't other people or their mom is jealous of this connection that could have been a factor you have to take it where it resonates but they feel like it was a mistake by not expressing their self to you because now they want to do life with you they want to have a home with you yeah and they're wanting to reconcile with you so a lot of people that were involved with helping these two people, these two karmic partners create some type of blockage in this union that you have with your person. All of these people did not know they were setting their self up to watch you and your person come in union on both ends. This is what they were celebrating this entire time. A union that is getting ready to happen between you and your person. So I'm getting ready to close this reading out with some of these um, confessions cards. Get a couple confessions from your person. We have afraid. I am afraid to let you down. Once you get to know me, I don't want to disappoint you. So I am avoiding you. I have to overcome this myself as you see me before coming forward ready. <laughs> The typo in this at the end is um, it's kind of mixed up from whoever made this deck. But they were afraid to express the way that they feel about you. This is why they were avoiding you and they feel like this is what hurt you and this was their biggest mistake. So this is just confirmation. They allowed fear to control them. They allowed fear to hold them back. thinking i am thinking about you at this moment the thought of you never leave my mind no matter where i go the songs i am hearing they remind me of you it makes me more vulnerable and think about you even more so even though they were in fear of expressing their emotions they could have been afraid of this connection they could not stop thinking about you you're always on their mind you have opening up I am getting ready to say what's in my heart. I know that this is love. It is true, unconditional and everlasting kind of love. I want you to know I am trying to open up, but it is so hard for me to put my feelings into words. But I know I have to do this and you need to hear them. So yeah, they're getting ready to open up and express their feelings for you. This is someone who is getting ready or prepared for this new beginning. Now that they've walked away from the illusions. 